the worst part about being like a chronically single person is that every single time I talk to anyone about why I'm single, like why I've been single for so long, why I can't seem to find a guy who wants to date me, I always get like the same answers. First one is that like, oh, men probably don't approach you to begin with. And that's usually from girls who say that, which like, that's just not true. Like men approach me all the time. Sorry not to sound cocky, but I'm gonna sound cocky. Second one is that I'm intimidating, um, which like could also be true because I do stand around like this. Like I don't look very nice sometimes, but I am nice sometimes, not all the time. Um, and then the other one is that like men don't like women with strong personalities, which is just not true because I see women with strong personalities dating men all the time. So that's just bullshit. But the thing is, is it's never a problem of men approaching me. It's always a problem of men staying with me. Like once they like have me, they like don't want me anymore. It's like, I'm just like on a checklist. They're like, let me just mark that one off. Let me just like be like, oh, I got that one. Throw her out now. We don't need her anymore. And I'm like, what about me is like, maybe it's kind of a bitch. <sighs> no, you're just, you know, somebody that's walking with a lot of red flags in your hand. You know, if you look at the tattoos, yeah, that, that's definitely a red flag to a lot of men. Uh, the fact that you just don't shut up, the fact that your mouth just runs like water, the fact that you never come up for air is another one. Doesn't matter how attractive you are, how sexy you are, whatever. A man doesn't want to hear that little gnat in his ear just chirping away constantly. And this is a general video that you're making. I can only imagine how you deal with your man. You might probably just talk his head off and he's probably annoyed. Another thing that I like to uh, set straight is this women women in this this saying that they like to repeat a lot that men are intimidated by them. No, men just see that you're not worth pursuing. Men don't want to deal with that. Men don't need a battle. So if you're sitting there looking mean or you're always on your phone or you're always pretending like you're, you know, preoccupied and all that, it's a waste of time for what? Because a lot of women do this because they know that they're going to get approached all the time and it feeds their ego to uh, tell men I'm not interested or I have a boyfriend or you're bothering me or you're being a creep because it validates their ego. So that's another reason why they do that because look, when women are attractive, they know that they're attractive. She knows that she's attractive, right? So a lot of times what they do is they play this game. They'll get dressed up and look the best they can be just to put the mean mug on their face, just to uh, tell men I'm not interested or show men that they're not interested. So that's a lot to do with the tattoos, the constant running your mouth, uh, the need for constant attention, because obviously, you know, you're making this video. And the fact that you don't have a man, right? Because usually when you see an attractive woman, one of the first things men do is say, well, damn, why is she single? Like, what's wrong with her? What What is going on there? Because see, all the younger women um, that are available in the dark, uh, dating marketplace, those are, they're sought after, you know, a lot. Those are the ones that, you know, men want that don't have all this time, don't have all this experience, don't have children, you know, they're not divorced, you know, all that baggage that comes with life and time, right? So these women are sought after like all the time. So when you see one and she's not wiped, wifed up, or she's not in a, you know, like a super long relationship with some serious commitment, you have to ask yourself, what's the problem? And just from watching this video, you can see a few red flags. And ladies, you need to understand this. As men, we start off with the visual. Yes, that is what initially attracts most of us. Because I know there's going to be some men that say, oh, I'm not, that's not me. But the majority of us, we're attracted to the physical attributes first so that's going to get a man to pay attention to you but it's not going to keep a man all that other stuff your character how you deal with the world all of those things that's what helps keep a man you know are you clean you know what i'm saying because when you're getting with a woman as especially as a young man you don't have children you want that in the future you know you're looking at this woman like okay is she going to be a good candidate to have my children to raise my children what is she going to teach them you see what I mean? That has a lot to do with it. Yes, we are attracted to women initially by the way they look. That's a fact. Just like women are usually attracted to the men that have resources and or the men that other women want. So there's different reasons. But just to be attractive is not enough. Your character has to be better as a woman. You're going to get attention and you might have men that that'll have sexual experiences with you. But the majority of those men are not going to commit to you if you don't fix your attitude, because that's really where it's at, where it's at. It's the attitude. It's the character. It's being humble. 
It's not being argumentative. It's not being constantly challenging. It's not saying, I want to be so independent, but I want to be in a relationship. See, all these things will make you fail if you're trying to get in a committed relationship. Because no matter what woman says or, you know, what, what she says or what she thinks, men control access to commitment in relationships. It's not the other way around. Women only control sexual access. That's it. Because if you think about it, men are the providers. They're the ones that are going to that are gonna provide. And they're the ones that are demanded to do that, not women. So men control that aspect of a relationship, the commitment. But as long as women like her, you know, walk around thinking they could just be who they want to be and act any kind of way and, you know, not actually act like a wife, someone worthy of that commitment from a man, they're just going to keep spinning their wheels. And in five years, I don't know how old she is. I say mid-20s. Five years, she'll be 30. She'll be p past the wall. Maybe she's a little bit older than that. Five years, she'll be all the way past the wall. You know what I'm saying? And those options go down. And all those men that she wants are not going to want her. And then she's going to have to settle for the men that chased her around in her friend zone forever. But it's not even a guarantee that those men will be interested because a lot of those men will be like, ah, you know, that's, that was then. This is, this is now, you know, you're only giving me a chance because you have no other options because men are not as stupid as women think they are. You see what I mean? And men will do what they need to do to get what they want. As soon as they notice that women are playing games, that's how men respond understand that that's how we respond if you play this game and you think that we don't know because even a new booty even a greenhorn we'll just call him a greenhorn even a greenhorn that gets in a relationship and he knows nothing about how women act eventually he will learn especially if he stays in that simp pool that friends only pool the you know the the friend zone simpy dudes that give women all the benefits of being in a relationship without actually being in one providing being the emotional tampon, you know, all of those type of things. But even those men after time will understand what the game is. So it's always going to be a lose, lose, lose for the woman. All the while, she's adding up time. She's adding up baggage. She's adding up bodies. So ladies, actually listen to what men want instead of just saying, I'm just going to do what I want to do. And he has to meet me where I am. And he has to adapt to my program because I'm a woman and I'm not going to change anything for a man. Okay. Change nothing. Nothing changes for you. That's all I have to say about this video, guys. But let me know what you think about it in the comments. As always, this is my opinion. I don't speak for everyone. But let me know what you uh, think in the comments. Make sure to like the video. It helps the algorithm on uh, YouTube show my videos. I'd appreciate that. If you're on TikTok, make sure to show me some love. Give me a follow over there. I'd appreciate that very much. And again, thanks a lot for watching this video. And I hope you guys have a good day. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace. May the force be with you.